This is a 2007 Ford F-150 with over 200,000 miles. Hey folks, this is Jason Good with the Good Life Outdoors. Today I'm going to walk you through how to maintain your vehicle up to 200,000 miles and beyond. Now this is my 2007 Ford F-150 that I bought brand new in the winter of 2006. So I've put pretty much every single mile on this truck, I've maintained it along the way, and today I'm going to share my thoughts on how to take a vehicle like this to very high mileage, as trouble free as possible, and keep enjoying it for as long as you find it necessary. Y'all stick around and find out how. One of the main things of getting a vehicle up to high mileage is just regular good maintenance. Uh, following the factory recommendations of when to change your oil, when to change your air filter, uh, and be able to do that and keep up with it. Uh, in my case, I do most of it myself. I've done almost every single oil change. I use good quality products. I use Mobile One uh, for my oil. Uh, I use good quality filters. Uh, I run a K&N filter um, as my air filter for um, just longevity. Uh, you can just clean it out and kind of maintain it uh, to whatever level you'd like to maintain it. I usually do it every 40 to 50,000 miles is when I clean that out. Uh, but just keeping track of that and being able to be familiar enough with your vehicle to do that kind of maintenance. Now whether you do it yourself or you bring it to the dealership or your favorite mechanic to do that, it's just keeping up with that maintenance. Don't let it go too long. Because if you don't do regular maintenance, things can wear out faster. Things can go wrong. Uh, and then you're left with a bigger problem and most likely wouldn't be keeping the vehicle up to those higher mileage. So, the big thing is just maintaining it. Um, in the case of this vehicle, you know, I've done most of the maintenance myself. Uh, I've done almost every single oil change, uh, tire rotation, uh, oil and air filters, uh, spark plugs. Uh, for this engine, the spark plugs uh, had a weird design flaw to where they basically weld themselves to the inside of the block. So I bought myself an extractor. I knew this going into it, so I bought the right tool, did the job myself, had that pride of doing it myself. Now it was a five hour spark plug change because three ended up being broken off in the block. But I knew it was done and I knew it was done right because that's my level of comfort with doing that kind of work. So, doing it yourself, I think, also gets you really familiar with your own vehicle. So, you're going to be doing maintenance, you're crawling underneath it, you're seeing, are there any leaks? Are there any problems that are obvious to your eye? Um, and I think being able to do that yourself is, is, is very valuable. So, I always recommend people try to do as much as they can themselves, and if not, get a really good uh, mechanic that they trust, whether that's your dealership or just a local person that uh, works in your vehicles. That way they're familiar with your vehicle, um, or in my case, I'm familiar with mine, and know when things don't look quite right. In that same realm, you got to know your limits. So if you're not comfortable doing some of the work that's required on your vehicle, you got to know when to bring it to a mechanic, have a professional do it, as opposed to you either hurting yourself hurting the vehicle, or just screwing it up and, and doing something completely wrong that you're gonna regret later. Um, and that's a big part of just kind of knowing, hey, I'm not comfortable with this, um, and being able to to make that call yourself and, and bring it in. And I think having that knowledge, especially if you have a mechanic that you do trust, um, know that it's done right. Um, in my case, sometimes, I know I can do something, I just don't have the time. You know, I've had several situations where I need something done and it happens to be right before I'm on a big trip. Um, I had a starter go out and yeah, I can replace a starter. It takes some time, but it was the day before I was supposed to leave on a trip with my family and I couldn't spend that time getting that ready. So I took it over to the mechanic, they quickly changed it out and no big deal, They, you know, I paid for it. I, pay, I value other people's time as much as I value my own. And so that worked out really well. So just know your limits so you're not either stressing yourself out about trying to get, get everything done yourself or worrying about doing something wrong and putting yourself or your vehicle in danger. 
another big part of that is just keeping good records of when you've done that maintenance. Now I have a folder where I have all my receipts. I have written down pretty much every time I've touched the truck, whether that be a oil or filter change, tire rotation, if I've had to take it in for some larger, uh, larger work that I wasn't comfortable with, you know, mechanic or whatever, uh, I have that where I can go back and reference. And that's really valuable in the fact that if you're keeping a vehicle for a very long time of knowing, hey, when did I last change the battery? Or, hey, is it time for me to clean off the air filter? Uh, so on and so forth. When does the recommended uh, spark plugs and when did I do that last? So that kind of stuff, it's really good to keep those records handy to where they're easy to read, easy to go through, to where at a glance you can say, okay, here's what's been done. And kind of, if there's a problem that arises, uh, you can kind of troubleshoot based on what you've done to the vehicle in the past. Now, another big thing to consider is just keeping your vehicle clean. Now, I'm not talking about keeping it absolutely spotless to where there's never any dirt on it. I drive a truck, I hunt, I fish, I do work, I haul stuff in this. This thing's never perfectly spotless, and I'm okay with that. But the big thing with vehicles is you don't want to have it just constantly covered with dirt and grime and dust. One, it's not good for it. It's not good for the paint. It's not good for the undercarriage. It's not good for the engine to have all that stuff all over it. But also, you can kind of see when things don't look quite right when a truck or a vehicle is clean. Also, there's just pride and ownership. If you have a clean vehicle, you are proud of it. It looks good. People compliment you on it. And you know, when you're looking at longevity, it's not just about you know, having a vehicle for as long as you possibly can is wanting to have that vehicle for as long as you possibly can. You know, there's all sorts of new gadgets and upgrades and everything that brand new vehicles kind of lure you in. They entice you with stuff like navigation and backup cameras and Bluetooth and all these kind of things. And, you know, I think that's why a lot of people sell their old vehicles is because newer vehicles have cooler stuff. Well, in the case of this truck, you know, it's a 2007. And yeah, there was the possibility of getting navigation back then. There was possibility of doing some upgrades, but you know, when you buy the vehicle you can afford, and especially once it's paid off, then you have a little money to do some upgrades to make it a little nicer for yourself. So over the years, I've upgraded this vehicle to kind of keep up with kind of modern standards as I've wanted it. I put in a new uh, stereo system that has navigation, that has the ability for a backup camera, um, has the ability for Bluetooth. And I use it all the time now and I really put some value into it. And I didn't buy top of the line and I probably should have because it's, um, it's several years old and it's not holding up as well as I thought it would. Uh, but it's one of those things I didn't spend a lot of money on it. It's certainly not as much as buying a new vehicle and it makes the vehicle nicer for longer. So it's something you can do, you know, whether that's uh, electronics, whether that's something like seat covers or steering wheel covers or floor mats. You know, you can upgrade this thing as you go along and it makes it a little nicer for a little longer and it makes it a little easier to hold on to that vehicle for a higher mileage. One of the big things to consider as you're looking for a vehicle, especially if you want to take a vehicle up to high mileage, if you want to hold on to it for a very long time, is just to look into buying quality. I always do a lot of research before I buy a vehicle. And in that, you know, different brands are known for different things. You know, Ford is known for their trucks. They've always been known for their trucks. And yeah, there's some reliability issues with di different engines and different gear models, but research I had done back in 2006 when I bought this truck were that the Ford trucks were reliable. And so I bought the larger engine. This is the 5.4 liter three valve engine. And it has done me, done very well for me. So would I have gotten the same amount of mileage out of a Chevy or a Dodge? Sure, you hear people get high mileage out of pretty much any vehicle, but from the research I had done, I was comfortable with the Ford brand with going a full-size truck as opposed to a mid-sized truck. I wanted a little bit more room, I wanted a little bit more power, 
and I knew that Ford was known for their trucks, and I haven't regretted it a day of my life, and or at least the day of the life of this truck. And I would probably buy another Ford truck because this one's done so well. Now I would do some research on which engine would probably do the best over a long period of time because I don't want to have to buy a vehicle every few years. I want to hold on to that. So buying the best quality you can is going to do you right for the long run. Well, there's a lot of pride to be had in taking a vehicle up to 200,000 miles and beyond. If you like what you saw today, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, go ahead and hit that notification button so you know when I post new videos. I appreciate each and every one of you watching today. Y'all get out there and live the good life. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.